so in this lecture we'll be learning about the topic reciprocal lattice so first of all we should know what is the direct lattice so the broad lattice the Breville lattice which we use to represent a crystal which we use to represent a crystal sometimes it's called direct lattice so what is the so next question is what is reciprocal lattice So in a periodic crystal, all local functions are periodic. In a periodic crystal, all local functions are periodic in nature. So let's take a function which is a periodic that is uh, let's take the charge density function which is periodic so let's take a function which is periodic example charge density so which is given by this expression so in order to introduce this situation let's start from 1d situation so what is a periodic function in 1d so we can represent the 1d situation something like this Here it is zero. Here it is a. Here it is two a, and here is minus a, and and this position minus two a. So imagine that you have a lattice in which the position of lattice points is a two a. Minus a and minus two a, so the periodicity is a in this case. So the periodicity is a in this case. So mm, so this function charge density repeats the same at every a so in one dimensional we can say that the local quantity at position x so we have any local quantity at this position x this is the position x so any local quantity at position x will be same and if we move anywhere as shown in figure so we can so these are the lattice points this all are all, all are lattice points where we have atoms so physical quantities like uh, charge density can be defined also in the middle because we can have electrons in the middle also so we can write so we can write so we can write 
charge density as rho of x equal to rho of x plus n a here n is an integer n is an integer which can be positive or negative and also rho of x is a periodic function so we know by basic mathematics we know by basic mathematics that every periodic function can be represented by a Fourier series can be represented by a Fourier series That is, the function can be written as a sum of harmonic functions. That is, the function, the function can be written as, can be written as a sum of harmonic functions. of sines and cosines of sines and cosines with a specific wavelength with with a specific wavelength or also can be by an imaginary exponential function or also by an imaginary exponential function uh, so this in this fashion So this is the Euler relation, this is the Euler relation and uh, which can be given in terms of uh, cos of 2 pi by a nx plus i sine 2 pi by a nx and uh, this is the coefficient of harmonics this is the coefficient of harmonics <clears throat> so the for uh, the theory of fourier series the theory of Fourier series also tells us also tells us about the coefficient of about the coefficient of different harmonics The coefficient of harmonics is represented by integrating over n itself. So the coefficient of harmonics is represented by integrating 
over a unit cell uh, the equation is the equation looks something like this But physically, what does this expression reveals? It represents, so this equation represents, it represents amplitude. And uh, this here, the A here is, the A is length of the period, length of the period. Now, now let's uh, move further. So another property is that uh, since there is a representation with a imaginary exponential, it contains the imaginary imaginary unit. So if the original function is real, um, the necessary condition is rho of x should be real then the complex conjugate that is uh, that is equal to rho f minus n so which ensures the function is real so let's discuss the meaning of this expression so let's take the So let's take the lattice point. And uh, let's uh, take the periodicity and imagine a function which is periodic as shown in this figure. Um, let's draw the curve. So it looks something like this. Okay. So what is the wavelength of uh, the function rho of x? So if I write the expression of rho of x so the wavelength here so the wavelength is so the wavelength is is equal to a by n and here <clears throat> we can write this expression this uh, whole expression is this whole expression is e k power k x so this is the expression of a wave where k is the wave vector so this is the expression Of a wave where k is the wave vector of uh, value of value two pi by lambda. So lambda here is a by n so we can write uh, lambda as as since lambda is equal to a by n we can write this expression as um, 2 pi by a multiplied by n so it is a wave vector and uh, if n equal to 1 and if n equal to 1 then it is the first harmonic represented by 2 pi by a if n equal to 2 it will be second harmonic represented by 4 pi by a and so on 
So basically in Fourier series, we are summing up the harmonics with wavelet lambda, which is equal to, which is equal to lambda 1 equal to a, lambda 2 equal to a by 2, lambda 3 equal to a by 3 and so on. So the amplitude of each component can be different and depends basically on a Fourier coefficient. So the amplitude the amplitude of each component can be different and depends and depends basically on a Fourier coefficient. That is rho of n. No, now let's define reciprocal lattice. So we can say the reciprocal lattice. Reciprocal lattice. is a set of all vectors set of all vectors represented by g of n which is a wave vector which is a wave vector which is a wave vector of the component of the component of the Fourier series so we can write g of n equal to 2 pi by a n so this is the so this is the reciprocal lattice so this is the reciprocal lattice which can be represented uh, on axis and uh, and this is also the expression of expression of reciprocal lattice in one dimensional and this is a scalar in one dimensional 1D. So if you want to represent the direct lattice, so the direct lattice can be represented uh, in this fashion. So Suppose uh, this is zero, this is a, this is two a, this is minus a, this is minus two a. So this is the representation of the direct lattice. So this is the this is direct lattice. So direct lattice are the points in a position or real space so direct lattice are points or position sorry. position in a real space in a space or real space and if you are representing the reciprocal lattice it will be looking something like this this is zero this is a 
this is 2a this is minus a and uh, this is minus 2a no no sorry so this is that lattice so if you want to represent in, uh, in the reciprocal lattice we are going to since reciprocal lattice is given by this vectors that is 2 pi by a n so <clears throat> for 0 it is 0 here when here uh, at position 1 we are going to get 2 pi by a and equal to 2 then we are getting then we are going to get 4 pi by a for equal to n equal to minus 1 we are going to get minus 2 pi by a and for n equal to 2 we are going to get minus 4 pi by a here so these are the points of uh, reciprocal lattice so we can say that uh, these reciprocal these reciprocal lattice points these reciprocal lattice points lifts lifts in a space where which are not direct space listen a space which are which are not which are not direct space basically they live in a space basically they live in a space of wave vectors which are discrete in nature which are discrete in nature um, assume k assume k vector this is the k wave vector given by the expression given by the expression gn equal to 2 pi by a multiplied by n now what is the unit of measurement of this reciprocal wave vectors the unit of measurement of the unit of measurement sorry the unit of measurement of uh, the reciprocal lattice of the reciprocal lattice is the inverse of is the inverse is the inverse of the length that is so we can say 1 by meter 1 by centimeter 1 by millimeter 1 by nanometer etc now <clears throat> now let's demonstrate let's sorry now let's demonstrate this expression is periodic so let's prove this expression is periodic um first of all let's uh, translate this expression So first of all let's translate the given function the given function by ma so we can write rho equal to x plus ma which is equal to summation of rho of n e power i 2 pi by a n x plus m a which is further equal to if we are solving further we are going to get uh, we are going to get summation of rho of n 
e power i to pi by a nx multiplied by e power i to pi ml so this function this function is equal to rho of x so in order to periodic in order to be periodic so this function this function should be equal to 1 <clears throat> so e is a multiple of 2 pi which is equal to 1 and uh, so we can say that uh, rho of x plus m a is equal to rho of x which means the function is periodic with period a which means the function is periodic with period a with period a now we can move to an interesting case of three dimensional probability analysis so let's consider now let's now let's consider a 3d crystal so I think it's better to divide this lecture into two parts <clears throat> so let's stop thank you